um good morning so it is 6 46 a.m uh today's saturday october i don't know i think it's the 18th and this morning i have healing rooms at bethel and i thought it might be a fun day to vlog three times in a row actually like it's fine except for these days are actually five hour days so they're pretty exhausting um i'll be there from 7 a.m it's 6 47 or actually it's 6 45 right now i'll be there from 7 a.m until about 12 30 p.m so i thought today might be a fun day to vlog if you've never been to my channel welcome if you're new to my, or if you've been here and you're back, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna order my coffee. It's so cold, like so cold. It's 43 degrees outside in California. And all I had was in my jacket because I'm gonna get warm on stage. So I didn't wanna wear anything too warm. I'm never up this early and I hate it. The good news is I should finally be on time for healing rooms for once in my life. Thank you. You too. Oh, this sandwich is warm. Oh. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's for sure not what I thought it was. It's okay. I'm sure it'll taste really good. I hope it has Swiss on it. What is it? Oh yeah, it's a ham and Swiss panini. It should be really similar. This is huge. Very good. Normally I have a smoothie in the morning or something like that. It was so early, and it's the end of the week. And I wanted to treat myself. You can sing about it now, that's good. I'm trying to remember what I've said already about healing rooms. Um, so they're at Bethel Church. I just think it's interesting, cause like this is something that not a lot of people would normally get to see, you know? My freaking ham and Swiss is falling off my panini. My sandwich is fully falling out. What can you do? I just want one red light to fix my sandwich. I live about 10 minutes from Bethel. I don't have to get up that early. I'm going to be there at 7. We have sound check from 7 a.m. to about, I want to say 8.40. So, almost two hours of sound check in the morning. Which is good because we usually have about 9 or 10 songs to go through. If you don't know what Bethel Healing Rooms is, ah, I bit my cheek. Um, if you don't know what Bethel Healing Rooms is, you can check it out online. It's probably what it sounds like. Um, people come in who need healing of all sorts, um, and they go through this process. I don't know how many steps it is, but I lead worship. In the encounter room, which I believe is step two. And then there's like a life after healing, and uh, that's like a class that they do right after the encounter room. The first step is they sign in and then they have this kind of introduction. The way I'm talking right now is pretty out of pocket, literally like in between rides. This is actually like really good. I'm editing this while I'm in line to get lunch right now, and that sandwich. I've been editing it since last night and I was hungry when I was editing it before and I'm editing it now and that sandwich looks so good. Mmm. Anyway, bye. So, it's like the introduction class thing in Counter Rooms, which is where you get prayer and worship. And then the like walking out your healing or life after healing course. If you're wondering, yes, tons of people get healed every week. People's backs get healed all the time. People's legs grow out all the time. That's like a very, that one happens a lot. Which it's funny because I don't think people realize that they have legs that are two different lengths, but most people do. Um, and it's just funny that it's like, you didn't even know that you had that and now the Lord's gonna heal it and like it'll help their back pain or like something like that. 
lots of that, honestly. I think the last time we had like 13 people's legs grow out. And now it's just like in the lobby. <laughs> That's before they even get to healing room. I mean, anything you can think of, really. It's hard to think of them off the top of my head because there's just so many that I've seen. Tons in healing rooms, tons not in healing rooms. It's like 9 45 so we've been going for like 45 minutes rehearsal i didn't have time in between to film anything um and i had to put my hair up because it was driving me insane but i'm filling up our waters right now because we need them but this is backstage of bethel if you're curious i hope i don't get in trouble for sharing that but like who's gonna watch this anyway you know what i'm saying it's going great so far i'm surprised how okay my vocal cords are this early but that's on a two-hour rehearsal i guess okay i gotta go fill up these waters i'll see you guys in a little bit I really don't know where they got that video of me. The waters are full, so that's good. I'm starving. That sandwich lasted me five seconds. It is now 10.45. I'm on my third hairstyle of the day. Um, I have to pee again. I go like twice per set, but healing rooms are really chill. Um, and really fun and it's like groups coming in and out anyway so like no one really notices um, but that's what I'm doing all right y'all it's 12 11 I'm tired very tired uh, healing rooms they long days man but you know what I'm doing all right so I'm gonna go home and make I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna go home and make a matcha because that sounds delicious and I have a new ice machine that I'll have to show you guys. But today was really, really good. I'm like absolutely shocked. Reading confuses the crap out of me because it just doesn't make sense how it can be 43 degrees in the morning. And now it's my car saying that it's 87 degrees. And that's just not right. Um, I also really want to shower. And then I'm thinking of maybe going to a coffee shop and doing some homework oh that was cute this old man just crossed the road and he waved at me that was very sweet oh i can't go to a coffee shop if i have matcha maybe i'll stay home today i don't know i'll figure out my life later like now's not the time but anyway healing rooms is really great i don't know because i'm so sorry that is so shaky um healing rooms is really great today i'm like i'll insert some clips here actually so you guys can see some of it I can 
really think of. Maybe I'll take Josie for a walk, brush her, chill a little bit. I'm probably gonna take a nap. That's all I can think of. So anyway, I'm gonna drive home now, bye. So I'm home and I really wanna take my contacts out, but I also wanna make a coffee or a matcha. So I wanna show you guys my little ice maker because I need more ice to do that. So I got this little guy at Best Buy yesterday and I will show you how the ice is made. So you fill up the water. This is from yesterday, so I'm just gonna use it. And uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna fill it the rest of the way. I'm just gonna let it use what it has. We push this in there, you just turn it on. You can select your ice size. I like the large ones, I think. So maybe we'll just stick with large. So these are what they look like. They look like little bullets. Um, <laughs> but Josie loves them. There they go. Come on, buddies. It is now 2.45, and I'm going to show you how much ice I've made since I've been home. Look at all of that. Some of it was left over from yesterday, but not a lot. I made very little yesterday, so now we're going to make a matcha for me and a coffee for Chris. So. Okay, just made a latte for Krista, and now I'm making matcha. I use, I kind of, oh, I guess I haven't reviewed this. Um. Emma Chamberlain's matcha. They say to, you only need um, a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. I use half a tablespoon in mine, but I guess maybe I like mine stronger, or maybe it's because I put mine with milk, but I'll show you how I do mine. So her recipe calls for hot water and a whisk. I prefer to make like a latte kind of thing. So I do um, a shaker ball. This is a blender bottle. Like I said, that's half a tablespoon of matcha. And then I add honey. And this is Oatly, by the way. The full fat one's the best. So I just add some honey. And then I just shake it up till it's all blended. Um, and I'll add more milk when I pour it into my cup. But um, I've seen some people, like my friend Perry, he likes to um, do his just like in a blender. But so I don't really want to do all that so this is kind of the next best thing so it takes a minute to shake this but I just do it till there's no clumps and then I'll pour it in my cup add more milk and that'll be that okay so this is how green it is I'm just gonna pour it in my cup this looks like it's sponsored by Oatly I'm dead that actually filled the whole thing holy crap okay this is after I've added like the amount that I actually like and it's very good I actually could have used more honey to be honest but it's great, delicious. I'm gonna take a nap now, bye. Oh gosh, I forgot how much I don't like myself with a braid. I mean, I love myself. So guys, I was gonna take a nap because that's what I usually do on Saturdays after healing rooms. And then, so we live in like a main house. No, not a main house. We live in like a studio apartment that's behind a main house. And um, one of the girls in the main house was like throwing a party or something and she was like hey can you grab um like can you grab something for me and i was like uh yeah i can do that i was like literally laying in bed about to go to sleep there's no one else who could help her and i felt bad so i was like yeah sure <laughs> so i grabbed her stuff and then chris and i ended up going to walmart um to get some orange shirts because we're gonna be pumpkins for halloween we're having a Halloween party and Josie is dressing up. I got her a pumpkin costume, so then obviously I had to get pumpkin costumes for us as well. So I'll put those here. Um, but <laughs> then I get home and I'm about to head home and Krista was going to a dinner tonight with a friend of ours. But I had um, one of the ladies from our church wanted to meet with me about something. And I, for some reason, in my, I had it in my head that we were meeting Wednesday night. But it was tonight. So I'm really glad I had extra caffeine today because I'm toast already. Um, but I forgot we were meeting tonight. So anyway, we're going to be um, grabbing dinner together and chatting, having some good chats for a little bit. 
So um, I'm excited for that. Long day. Okay, so I'm a little tired now, but that was really fun and I'm glad that I did it. Um, dinner was delicious. So it's Saturday, it's like 8 p.m. So I mentioned it Saturday because we do our laundry on Saturday since we share the washer and dryer with the girls in the main house. She is just so excited. I'm gonna put on something to go put my laundry in. So I have to wash my hair. So that way by the time I'm done, um, oh, sick. I have a sweatsuit that's clean. So that way when I'm done, I can just go transfer my laundry. I'm gonna get take care of this. It's embarrassing. I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll have the shower. end the night like this um this is what's happening my hair is gonna be like this for the rest of the night um and we're gonna watch some wife swap and then i'm going to bed so i hope you guys enjoyed watching i wonder if i ever actually posted this or not i guess if you're seeing it i did so have a great night see you probably at vlogmas Bye.